Okay, my final temperature difference on the coil is 11, 12. It's going between 15.2 and minus 2. It's unfortunate, but... And, and this valve, I literally adjusted it all the way. It won't go anymore. It's just time for another valve. But we just spent a lot of money on the compressor. And hopefully it's adjusted into a range where it's acceptable. Watch it for a minute or so. She'll start uh, nose diving. This point is 21 degrees. Swing. 
guess that'll happen if the coil's frosted up, and it probably is. The way the guy that installed this set it up, he didn't put electric heating defrost on it. And what happens is he's got a long period of time between the frost, and then when it does go on the frost, it's got an hour to frost, which means that the box will warm up enough to melt the ice off the coil. And then it comes back on. But for all the, there's two to frost in a 24 hour period, which isn't enough, I don't think. And, um, and But then when it does go on to frost, he's got it on for a very long to frost, which means the box warms up a bit, enough to melt all the ice off the coil. But in the interim, for all those hours that it's running, it's, you're running liquid back to the compressor. It's, it's, it's called slugging, when it frosts like that. As long as it doesn't get on the compressor, it's pretty much boiling off between here and the compressor. You saw the suction line on the compressor, it's uh, got condensation on it. See, here we go, we're hunting, we're rising. The, the expansion valve closed off. And she's on the rise. That's called uh, 